It's a Saturday morning here in Brunei and one thing that I noticed that this city is very clean and silent as well. Bridge of Bandar Seri Begawan to go to a mosque, Bokia Mosque, which is over there. I'm just gonna walk from my hostel. Man, this mosque is beautiful. The Hassan al Bokia Mosque has 29 domes on the top, all covered in 22 karat gold. Tourists and people who come here to pray use this as the entrance. At this. The Sultan has a private entrance door. This is the ground floor of the mosque, so you have to register over there and then just put your name in the guest book. And then here, we're allowed to take pictures or videos, but then you go upstairs, you won't be anymore. This mosque is so big, it can accommodate 5,000 Muslims to pray inside. There's a chandelier inside that's covered in gold and crystals that weighs 3.5 tons. Construction started in 1988, finished in 1994. This mosque is almost 30 years old. I'm here at the famous Safudian Mosque. Saifudian Mosque. I'm here at the famous Saifudian Mosque, and I don't think they would allow the camera inside, so. Dito lang muna tayo sa labas. Yeah, I'm looking at the schedule for the visiting hours for non-Muslim inside the mosque and it says Saturday to Wednesday 8.30 to 12 noon. It's 10.30 The mosque is for prayer only and can accommodate 3,000 Muslims and of course there are rules which have to be observed Muslims wash their hands here and then they go inside, they take off their shoes, and they go for prayer. This place is really nice and silent as well. It's mesmerizing in the sense that the huge dome is covered in 24 karat gold. The city reminds me so much of Singapore because the city is very clean. We have clean streets. It's very silent. There are no cars honking or people shouting. And yep, you cannot even see people walking on the streets. As you can see, I'm just alone here, as well as on the other side. The Royal Regalia Museum reveals the history and culture of Brunei. Here you will see past crown jewels, life-size gold chariot, and gifts to the Sultan from different heads of states. It's interesting to find gifts from the Philippines to the Sultan there. Uh, they're from Joseph, the ex-president Joseph Herzog Estrada, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, and there's a 
um, jeepney figure there from Mr. Gordon. Wow. My next itinerary is the post office to send postcards to my friends. With the technology we have, written letters and postcards might go obsolete. But there is something cool about old school. You just can't replace the sincerity and authenticity of these written letters. This postcard is going somewhere. So there's crocodile yeah, here. Yeah. This area has crocodile. Depends on the weather. If the weather is nice, they come up, they just float. It takes 15 minutes to go to the mangroves where the shy Proposkis monkeys live. See much? A powder. Ah, oh, monkey. Monkey. Yeah, monkey. There is this tree. Is it a stream? Yeah. Brunei is also known for its water village. With an estimated 15,000 residents, this community has its own school, church, and grocery stores. And residents park their cars at the port. You can't walk here when you're drunk. <laughs> no handrails. Otherwise, you, be you will be, huh? you cannot be drunk. You cannot be drunk. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the people are no, actually no. Uh, friendly. They greeted us. Okay. Welcome to Brunei. And part of the tradition is taking off the shoes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We practice this in the Philippines also, but not really like in Brunei. So look at the house. It's another modern longhouse. Modern longhouse. Yeah. Hello, okay. Tinala ang Pilipinas. <laughs> Everyday sound system. <laughs> if in Philippines, every day you, you hear yeah, yeah. karaoke. karaoke. Uh, 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 Filipinos love to sing. Feast. <laughs> so they say this is a tar flavored cake. Let's see kung okay siya. Now at the Empire Hotel, just um, make a quick segue to this five star hotel in Brunei. So let's see what's in there. The, the perks of having a no Bisaya tourist guide. Ah, I'm like, I'm like, Bisaya, Deri. Katerina. So, like, wala lang, Deri lang. It's Empire Hotel. Stayed at Empire Hotel. Yeah. Not check in. Stay <laughs> there. Uh, 
Hi, Mr. Cafe. Thank you. We just chose pastries. Champagne mm -hmm. original from Brunei ang pinili namin. And then red velvet. Char sa so shop. <laughs> hey, chi 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 chi. <laughs> Pinay ang staff doon sa loob. So everywhere may mga Pilipino. Pilipino. Mm. It's very common. Yes. Especially here in Brunei. Nakakasalubong mo lang. Thank you. Okay, this is for you, Mom. Wow. Thank you. Sasha. But it's just a reenactment, guys. I didn't know what to do with Ate. Sasha, everyone is here. They're just like that. Senorita. I belong here. What's this again? Pink Batik. Kick batik. Original kick batik. Original kick batik. And you can only buy this from Empire Hotel. Special. And ano pa tayo? And that one, if you put in the refrigerator for one year, you can stop that. One year? Yes. Just normal temperature, like cold temperature. Just maintain the temperature, and then it will last. For one year, yes. proven and tested one yes. year. That is the, the delicacy. Mm. Yay! Hi! Hello! What is that? Copy, copy. Copy, copy. <laughs> copy. This copy. one, like you buy. Nakanai. Nakanai. Apa, copy, copy? Bonding with Pinoy tour guides. Huh? 